Hello everyone and welcome once again. Today we're going to build a machine that's called a carpenter, but it's not really a machine actually. It's sort of like it's a forestry crafting table, but it needs to be powered and we're going to use the use a build craft engine, a steam engine to power it. So it is a little strange because it needs to be powered um, as opposed to the normal crafting table, but you can only craft certain things in there for forestry in the carpenter. It's called a carpenter. So let's see that recipe. Um, let me head over directly to all the forestry items, which are right here. And the carpenter is, no, this is centrifuge. Where is that carpenter? Here it is. Okay, this is the machine. We're going to build a carpenter. So let's look at this recipe. We need a sturdy machine, as we do with all forestry m machines. And we need two glass and six bronze. So let's uh let's do that let us now bronze okay bronze we've made a ton of bronze so if you remember it is three copper as so so i'm going to make double i'm going to make triple amounts that should be enough and oops tin not iron i was putting iron there tin so we make a square one tin for each and three copper but i'm making three so i'm making actually 12 bronze ingots that's what i'm making and I already had one, so that's perfect. So with this first, let's start with our sturdy machine, which is really easy. It's just bronze ingots all around. So you need eight of them. So there it is, our sturdy machine. Oh, and I'm going to need one more bronze. I don't have enough. I didn't count correctly, so let's, let's make another four. Okay. So there we go. Now we have nine of them. Great. So then we put our sturdy machine in the center. We need two pieces of glass, as so, and we need six bronze ingots. Let's just put the bronze on the sides there, and there you go, a carpenter. Okay, now the only thing is it needs to be powered by a BuildCraft compatible engine, so we're going to build a steam engine again. Uh, let's see, I have it right here, the recipe. Even though I've, I've built it many times, I always forget, so here we go. Here's the recipe. Let's start out with the piston, okay? three wooden planks so let's let's just see that right here and we need one iron ingot okay in the center one redstone four cobblestone right here and three wooden planks and that's a piston so that's part of the steam engine that we need great so let's get back to the steam engine recipe okay so let's see that in the crafting table uh, we need stone gears, so let me make those first. Uh, stone gears are as so. We need a whole bunch of sticks, so let's get these sticks. And we need four, sort of in a diamond shape. Oh, I couldn't see it there because of the, um, hold on a second, sorry about that. There we go. There's one gear, wooden gear that is. We start with the wooden gear. Now we're going to build the second wooden gear. Great. And we're going to make these now into stone gears. So we place them as so. And we'll put two, 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 and two. Now we have two stone gears. Great. So we're ready to actually make the engine. So let's put the piston down here. That's the first item. The two stone gears. One piece of glass. And three cobblestone. There we go. There it is, our steam engine. Awesome. And last but not least, we do need um, a lever or a lever to power it on and off. So that's a stick and a piece of stone, but I always do it the opposite, the wrong way. There we go. So it's a stick over the piece of cobblestone. I apologize. So there we go. Lever. Okay, now that we've got our carpenter built, we're going to set it down. Oh, let's put it right. Let's put it right. I guess over here is okay. Let's put our build craft machine like this and let's put this down. Okay, now let's put some charcoal in there. Okay, so the carpenter. Uh, it's basically a crafting machine for forestry and it crafts specific items like hummus and which we used for our, far, for our I wanted to say our tree farm and um, a few other things off the top of my head I can't remember, but they're specific things it crafts, okay? So let's just see the interface of the carpenter. Okay, this is this is what it looks like. Uh, we need some water, 
Um, it might not be, I'm not sure if the water is for all the recipes since I have not made all the recipes yet for, um, with the carpenter, but for certain things, for instance, we are going to now build a bealizer. I want to say it's like a bee analyzer. That's what it actually is, but it's called, I think I'm saying it right, a bealizer. So with that, I know we need two buckets of water in the carpenter to get that, um, recipe going. So let's see if we got some water here. Let's fill these up. There we go. Okay, two buckets of water are ready to go. And let's head back over to our carpenter. Whoa, whoa. Crazy, crazy jetpack flying as usual. <laughs> I really uh, need to get a license for that. Okay, let's head back over to our carpenter. Okay, so we want to build a a bealizer that's what it's called so first let me head over here I need I need panes of glass which I oh I have three of them so let's just um, make a few more panes of glass there we go we got 16 just with this so that's more than enough so we've got our glass uh, let me head over here to hold on because the recipe you can't see it in the crafting table so the rest oh nighttime let's head over to before the monsters come once again since I'm a terrible zombie killer okay so let's head back to our now I need one diamond two redstone let's see I need one diamond here we go one diamond I don't need arrows let's get rid of those I need two redstone I know that I need I believe it's two or well let's just put all the glass panes and I need a uh, tin. I believe I need four tin. So let me just go get some more tin. I only have three here. Okay, tin. Uh, let's head back over here. And what do I got here? Nothing. Uh, tin. Tin ore. Oh, wait a second. I might have some here. No, that's iron. Okay, let's head over to our electric furnace. I'm sorry, no, to our macerator. Let's macerate a few pieces of tin. Take just a sec with our overclockers. Now, I took away one from here because three was... It really wasn't keeping up with the power that I have set up. Um, you really need a more powerful setup if you really want the three overclockers to go smoothly. So I only put two for now. Uh, that's good enough for what I need since I'm not really producing like crazy amounts of stuff right now. I'm slowly building machines and showing you what they do and how they work. So I don't need anything crazy. And this one overclocker in the electric furnace is working great too. Definitely speeds it up and it's enough for what I need right now. So, Okay, so I think we're done. We have more than enough tin now. Okay. Let's just let this one finish and then we're off. Perfect. Just leave that there. Okay, so let's head back. So we are making a B Elizer. Let's see if I may said that clearly. B Elizer. So I believe, let's see if I got this right. The diamond is here. Two redstone. Okay. I think it's two panes of glass like that in the center. Okay. I mean, this you could look up in the forestry wiki. Um, I don't know if there's a way to see the actual recipe in the carpenter. I don't know how to do that. I've never seen a way that you could see the recipes there. And in any eye, it does not show you this recipe. So, okay, so here we go. Now, this needs power. So this is the item we're making, a bealizer, just like I said, bealizer. Okay, so what we need is first off is the bealizer, I mean the carpenter needs water. So what we need to do is place water buckets here. You see how this side has filled up a little? This, uh, I want to say like a container. Okay, let's put a second bucket. Okay, there we go, two buckets. I mean, you could put more, but for now, we only need two. Now we will turn on the machine, the steam engine, I mean, and power it up. Now let's see slowly what happens. Now this this is a slow process, let me tell you, very slow, but we should see basically this line here start let's see what it says missing more resources need to su be supplied for operation more resources um, I believe it's set up correctly okay I know it's set up correctly 
just see if it's very slow for me. Um, let me head out and get some more water. I mean, it's worked for me before exactly the way I'm doing it now. Unless for some reason the carpenter's not recognizing the steam engine for some reason. But let's just head back and get some more water. Um, the last time I put four buckets of water in. Let's see if I can get some more water from here. There we go. Great. Let's head back. Slow process the carpenter. Let me see how this this um, apiary is going. Oh, great. Okay, let's put some more. I always put I always refill it up with bees. Awesome. So let that work its magic. Get lots of honeycombs because that's another very slow process that takes a while. So let's see if this is working now. It should be working. Huh. Uh, it's still giving me an error. Let's put, even though I know we don't need more water, I'm going to put some more. Okay. More resources need to be supplied for operation. Shared access. Okay, so the engine is definitely working. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, I clicked the bealizer. I'm sorry. Maybe I missed that somehow, but there you go. You see the white line is moving probably needed to be reset or something. So what I did was, in case this happens, you click on the actual bealizer in the picture. Now remember, this is just showing you what you're making. It's not ready yet. Now I remember this took a while. Till this lights up, it takes a long, long time. But anyway, let that, let's that let get that working. And how are we doing here? We got a lot of bees here. Um, now you'll see how this all interacts now when we get the bealizer okay everything kind of what I want to say is these machines it gets a little complicated but all these machines all have to do with one another okay so now we're making a bealizer with the carpenter okay the bealizer is going to give us information about each bee okay and once we get the full information once we look in the apparatus chest um, it'll show us what bees we can we can make those certain um, types of bees with. So you'll see that now. I'll show you now. Okay, there we go. Now the finally the line, it's a very slow machine, the carpenter. Of course, maybe if I put like 10 steam engines, I'm not sure if putting more engines really helps the speed. It might, but it's slow. So remember, for the bealizer, we need water, and this is the recipe, which in any eye I can't see it. You would have to go to the forestry wiki if you really want to see this. This, I mean, that's the only way I know of. If anyone knows of another way, please put it in the comments below. Okay, here we go. Just about done. Slow. Very slow. There we go. We got it. Okay, Bealizer. There it is. So now we can pick it up, put it in our inventory there. And there we are. There we have the bealizer. Now let's head over here and let's pick a bee. Not the meadows. Well, the meadows is the one we use the most. Let's try with the meadows. Let me move these buckets over. Let's get a meadows, for instance, a meadows princess. Okay. So now I click on the bealizer. Okay. And I put the meadows princess just like you would in the, um, in the, um, in the habitat locator. It's the same kind of interface, a little different, but okay. And you use an, a honey drop. But this gives you more information than the um, habitat locator, okay? This gives you some more. Tells you the type of species, lifespan, I don't know if you need to know that, <laughs> the speed, flowers, okay, fertility, two times, uh, area effect, okay, great. So now, great. So now, for instance, um, let's see. Oh, I tossed that out again. Let's try something else. Let's take that one and the marshy drone, for instance, okay? So let's take the Meadows Princess. Okay, we already did that. And let's take the marshy drone, put that in. Okay, what is this? This is pretty much the same. Doesn't do much. Um, this tells us, oh, flowers are mushrooms for the marshy. That's right. Remember in the marshy area, which is like swampland, it tells us that the flowers that it uses are mushrooms. So that helps a little bit, you know, in case you're stuck and you don't really, you know, know. 
Um, so that's very helpful. And so now let me show you something else. Now when we go to the let's see the chest let's see now it should show us cultivated it's not showing me what I thought it was going to show me it's a little quirky the whole thing it's not really um, the last time when I used the Bealizer once I went to the chest it gave me a whole list of what um, what types of bees you can um, not a whole list it told me what I had already mated that bee with but it's not showing me here and I'm not really sure so I apologize um, there's a lot to learn here and it's a uh, it's not the easiest um, it's a lot of fun but it's not the easiest of um, things to get used to is what I want to say so anyway basically now you know what the carpenter there are more things we can make with a carpenter uh, or craft or um, like the hummus is for the tree farms and so on so so that's what it's for um, the BLIs is a great item I think I think it gives you a lot more information about the bee for instance I want to look up the modest where's the modest bee here it is so let's click on that let's put the modest bee in because this is I don't know if you remember this is the desert bee so what does it tell us it tells us the flowers cacti see just like the uh, the marshy is mushrooms so it helps you know what flowers um, are the flowers that are needed for that type of bee so it gives you a little more of an idea some of this information maybe is not necessary and you don't need it doesn't really matter um, but it does give a lot more information about the bees and this is like I said a trial and error process mixing and matching bees and I'm gonna shut this off I apologize and and basically that's um, that's how here we go here we go see now the cultivated bee is the one that showing you that it came from like a meadows because I mixed the meadows with I don't know if it was a common or something like that and I got a cultivated drone that was what happened um, so it shows you what I mixed and matched there that was the only one that was showing because this is a special breed the cultivated but it says cultivated meadows hybrid so it gives you a little more information both the chest the apparatus chests and the bealizer give you a little more information now let's take this bee okay and let's look it up with a bealizer let's put a honey drop oops sorry I put that in the wrong place didn't I no no here it is so it's showing us cultivated meadows um, lifespan it doesn't tell you the type of flowers I guess it's pretty much almost any flowers if you mix and match with another type of bee and that's about it not too much of great information but gives us an idea basically um, because I already did this one that's right and you know this just um, like I said trial and error um, play around with the different bees see the best you can do but the bealizer is going to tell you what kind of flower if you don't know for that area and that definitely and that's about it it's a, just a fun little um, item the bealizer that just gives you a little more information on the bee so I hope this uh, video was helpful I hope you enjoyed the machine we built the carpenter and the Bealizer, both those items are great for the beekeeping world um, to get you started. So you can build them, craft them, and then basically just play around and see how everything kind of comes together once you, once you get different types of bees from different areas. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.